previously on AFV. a lady business check out some hillbilly heroes take a look at Tom's home movies and more of your favorite videos we're AFV and now here he is the captain of make it happen it's Tom Bergeron! Thank you! It's very nice. It's very nice. Welcome to AFE. You are going to love this show because tonight we have pulled out all the stops. And it's not to say that we usually don't pull out all the stops. We're always pulling stops, pranks, occasionally hamstrings. <laughs> pull my finger. <laughs> or better yet, pull up a chair and, and watch these. It was only a matter of time before it came to this extreme dumpster diving. Is this guy leotarded? <laughs> you know, the reason you throw rice is for traction. Bad for her, the fallback plan involved falling back. Oh my God. He should be wearing a big helmet, or better yet, two little ones. To a good practical joke is timing. It has got to be swift. You're in, you're out, and your victim is completely fooled. They do not use the phrase pulling a fast one for nothing. If the smell of coffee in the morning doesn't wake her up, you could try a firecracker in a garbage can. This guy waters the flowers, they water back. Yeah. 
This fella ordered two eggs, sunny side down. Writing, I'm going to be a big brother on your baby's diaper, is a joke that will make dad need a diaper change of his own. I decided to be named to John this uh, April Fool's Day. Jack's only nine weeks old. <laughs> I can't wait for him to open this. Sometimes at a supermarket, the prices aren't the only thing that'll scare you half to death. already know this all dogs are different to get some dogs to come you just say come for others you need to say here boy even if it's a girl for others you don't have to say anything you just have to do something to get their attention they run right over come on Jack. come on the dog. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. There's the dog. And there's the dog! <laughs> there's the dog, and there go the olives. <laughs> There's the fake deer, and, ooh, there's the dog. And there's the whale shark, but where's the dog? There's the dog. no rhyme or reason to this next set of clips, but the quality is there. It just never dips. All right, so there's a rhyme. <laughs> there's no reason, though. Check it out. <laughs> never mix a jumping kick with a hanging lamp. Mm -hmm. So she can sometimes she really 
Wanda. How's that saying go? You scratch my back, I'll ride yours. <laughs> Is she biting you? No. No. You just kind of scratch me. Two wheels. Too bad. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> it looks like smiling is the new wagging. thing is they line up for this <laughs> upload your funny video to afv.com a lot of time showing you the dumb things that men do but tonight we're gonna highlight the women yeah, yeah there you go guys are ready for some payback let's face it women are much cuter but occasionally oh yeah just as dumb come on ma put your pedal to the puddle about to lose at musical chairs and did you notice she's the only one playing the pen is mightier than the sword especially if it's an electric shock pen It's just another beautiful day on Lake Inferior. Oh, sorry, Luke, get back in here. Look at her, she's jumping, you see her? If your daughter complains you've been hogging the tree swing all day, there's one way to get her to stop. <laughs> it's time for a day at the races to find out who hits the ground first. It's defending champion Pinky Tank Top against the brash challenger Little Red Shorts. All right, dads, mount your kids' bikes, and they're off. Pinky's not going to waste any time hitting the ground. And he's the winner. Let's see how far Little Red Shorts lags behind. Come on, Dad, start falling. Hello there. Any day now. Kids want the bike back. Finally, he's down. Join us next week to find out which loser wins on a day at the races. Hey, here's a little advice for you. If you ever need help, don't, don't call a superhero. For one thing, they're fictional. All they care about is really looking buff and making sequels. You want a hero who wears overalls, a hero you can pay with live bait. I'm, of course, talking about hillbilly heroes. 
Your truck is stuck in the mud and all you can think of is changing the wiper blades? Cut your fingers on them wiper blades. <laughs> what did I just tell you? Hey, he's dancing where the old latrine used to be. It should come out. It worked on his kid's tooth. I'm going nowhere. If this lasts more than four hours, please consult your doctor. domesticated cats for almost 10,000 years because they make such great pets. We know they're adorable, we know they're finicky, and we know that you shouldn't date anyone who owns more than three of them. <laughs> but we understand cats are easy to love. Cosmo can do a flying leap. Come here, guys! <laughs> When the cat gives out food, every dog's a wiener. This goes from sweet to sour in three, two, one. Looks like Mr. Jingles is earning a little extra babysitting money. You know why he won't answer. It's the dog calling. What's his name? Ma Martha Butterflash. Thank you. Look. It's from on his nose. What is that thing you? Look, I have a confession to make. I spend a lot of time pointing out other people's faults. It's time to point a finger back at me <laughs> with my own home movies. A lot of kids, they 
They enjoy the beach. Not me. Here's the exact moment I stopped liking the beach. <laughs> We're at Jupiter Beach. We're in Jupiter. Since I stopped going to the beach, I started going to the park. That little affair was pretty short-lived, too. kids used to tease me because of my massive head. <laughs> I used to dream of flying. My parents helped me achieve that goal. <laughs> and I'll admit, as I grew older, I a bit of a daredevil with a need for speed. <laughs> but even when I was a baby, we're not going in chronological order here, even when I was a baby, I used to enjoy a healthy snack. Enough of me. Here's more of you. How old are you? Ever since he got a pinata for his birthday, they can't get him to stop. is how The Sopranos should have ended. <laughs> a lot of dogs can fetch a stick. How many can fetch a fish stick? I can't believe a baby that young can read a keep off the grass sign. <laughs> you don't want to stand in the grass, baby. stance is too wide, you can just feel it. Some dogs you can't get in the bath. Some dogs you can't get out of the bath. Yeah. <laughs> 
Pokemon versus kids riding their bikes into mailboxes versus dogs wearing sunglasses. The kids are up first with a special delivery. But the dogs are sporting shades and an attitude. Neither rain nor sleet can keep these kids from their appointed rounds. But the dogs sure don't look worried. As sure as postal rates go up, this kid goes down. And the dogs put on their game face. The kids are about to mail it in. And the winner is... Kids riding their bikes into mailboxes. Join us next week when the kids take on women tossing monkeys in cemeteries. On person. philosophical theory that goes like this if you have an infinite number of monkeys sitting at an infinite number of typewriters they will eventually write a work worthy of Shakespeare <laughs> but I say if you put them in front of a camera who needs Shakespeare oh I guess all the potassium in those bananas is making him edgy. Buttons has a security blanket, but apparently it isn't so secure. He gets nice and comfortable. <gasps> he was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, oh, sure. They're tough when it's a stuffed leopard. It's all fun and games until the tiny planes come out and try to shoot him down. amazed when people move to areas where it can reach 20 degrees below zero in the winter you know those places where the state flag shows a bald eagle with jumper cables in its beak <laughs> you know those places well despite the harsh conditions I understand why some people put up with it winter is fun <laughs> hey, if you ever get stuck in the ice, call a tow duck. <laughs> inner tube, inner face. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
This kid is so bad at sledding, it's trying to make a getaway. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll get it back. Come springtime. <laughs> Jack, lay down to a snow angel for us. Jack! Who wants a snotsicle? And that is Sissy with her snotty nose. Oh, no! no. This is cross-country skiing, and he gets stopped at the border. <laughs> These ice fishermen have spent weeks away from their wives. See if you can tell. <laughs> Okay, now these next videos, they have a little bit of everything, kind of like an undercooked casserole. They are full of ideas that are half-baked. <laughs> In soccer, you can use your foot, your head, or both. <laughs> In limbo, you want to see how low you can go, and this answers the question. I think this kid was driving behind me on the freeway. I call this shot Big Guy on His Corner Pocket. I think they're too young to drive. Whoa! <laughs> Riley? Oh, Spanish peanuts. Spanish peanuts? That dog is not going to touch Spanish peanuts. As you may know, Pamplona, Spain is famous for holding the running of the bulls. Now, in America, we have rodeo, or as I like to call it, the running of the people. <laughs>
of playgrounds in our communities. Both kids and adults, they love them. And when you factor gravity and Murphy's Law into them, playgrounds are a gold mine for us. I sure don't hate you because that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, it's the kid on the swing that gets a push. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> ow! 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 A slide is much safer if you've got Dad there with you. Just not this dad. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Ah, oh, dog poop. Dang it. I think Dad's shorts are so tight they're cutting off circulation to his brain. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to rub your eyes and scratch your head once again it's time to ask an afb question it's time for weird enough for you <laughs> this has been weird enough for you If, uh, if someone tells you you're not the sharpest tool in the shed, they're saying you're not very smart. But even if they say you are the sharpest tool, they're still calling you a tool. <laughs> Which could make you indispensable when you meet people with a few screws loose. <laughs> You always want to keep your tires inflated. Not so much to make it easier to ride, but so you've got a safe place to land. like both teams lost and Mother Nature won. She saw Juliana. Oh. I told you mom was going to be mad. Joey. 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 Oh, what was he taking? Oh, my God. I'm in trouble. Mommy's mad at me because I didn't catch you doing it. She's mad at you, too. Uh, 
Today's forecast calls for surprise showers. Let me ask you, can a dog get a seeing eye dog? refer to tonight's assignment America as a fall classic. We want you to have fun with leaves. Go sledding down a hill, land in a big pile of them, hide in them, surprise your friends, build something out of them, whatever you build out of leaves. Just get outside and breathe in the fall air and have fun with leaves. Jess, it's all up to you now. Closed captioning for America's Funniest Home Videos is sponsored by Whopper, 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 Junior, Double, Triple, Whopper, Impossible, or Bacon, Whopper, I rule this day. And BK, have it your way. Yeah. All right, now let's turn the funny into money and meet our three nominees. First up, Dirty Diaper Tricks, sent in by the Skiff family from Riverside, California. Writing, I'm going to be a big brother on your baby's diaper is a joke that will make dad need a diaper change of his own. for the cash is Big Bubble Trouble, sent in by Brycey and Peter Parnham from Humboldt, Texas. Some dogs you can't get in the bath. Some dogs you can't get out of the bath. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, meet our third nominee, Chocolate Covered Ant, sent in by Katie Carlton family from Charleston, Illinois. Trying to carry an Eminem all by himself. He's a strong little ant. Don't step on him, Abby. Oh! <laughs> Who's seen the three nominees? It is time to vote now. And while they vote, here are some videos worth one more look. They are our honorable mentions. <laughs> of our voting, our second place $3,000 winner is Dirty Diaper Tricks, sent in by the Skiff family from Riverside, California. And the winner of the $10,000 in tonight's Funniest Home Video is Big Bubble.
Humble Trouble, set in by Bryce and Peter Barnum from Humble, Texas. We've got Dad, Peter, daughter, Tristan, and of course, represented here, Duke the Dog. Hi, Mom. Hi. We have uh, Duke here looking exceptionally clean in the shot. Yes. Don't you think? Beck, how old are you? Four. Four years old. And Beck, what did you think when your dog got in the tub with you? He put in the bathtub. I know, he climbed right in the bathtub. Were you nervous at all? Yes. Yeah, because he was, because here you are, you're trying to get clean and you get out of the tub, you got that wet dog smell. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Did, did he ever do that before? He's a he puppy. He did. He's a pup. He, uh, he's a puppy. He's a puppy. He was six months. He's a Great Dane. Yeah. He's nine months now. How much does he weigh now? One hundred and thirty pounds. Okay. He's big, but he's, that's the first time he saw bubbles. Oh, really? He, he was, so does he bathe on his own now? He, he just would goes, like to get in, but uh -huh. we, it's kind of messy. Well, you've got in to our $100,000 show Woo! later in the season because you've already won $10,000. That's a lot of bubble bath. Congratulations, guys. Yay! Congratulations. Okay, I hate to be harsh, uh, but that's it for tonight. We are done. We'll see you soon. And remember, if you get it on video and bubble it up a bit, you could get it in cash. Good night, everybody.